Jamie, just first of all, what was your assessment of the game today? Uh, I think probably over the piece, uh, we'll be glad to have gone away with a point. Um, I think Livingston, for the majority of the game, were the better side. I think maybe that's from maybe a little hangover of what's been on later in the week with us and obviously as his coaching staff, which we'll take the blame for, we're probably not giving the, the boys enough information or that going forward. But I say that the, the end of the week was a bit hectic and it's not ideal when you're going into a game, especially this magnitude against Livingston, where coming here when everyone's 100%, it's normally a hard place to go. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take responsibility for that as, as his coaches. But, uh, listen, I can only commend the boys for the way they roll up their sleeves and they just never say die attitude. And, I think in the end, it's, it's a point, and it's, if, it, if I'm quite honest, it feels like a bit of a win. You, you do mention that, given the, all the uncertainty, there's there's maybe been towards the end of the week, and you say this is a really tough place to come in, in normal circumstances. How big a point does that feel? Yeah, it, it could be massive. It could be massive. Um, we've, we've, I don't think we've got a, a great record here, um, and you can see Olivia playing at a a good level as well at the moment. They're, they're flying high as well, so it was it was always going to be difficult um, with the upheaval. But as I said, I just said to the players in there, they're an incredible group of boys. Um, they give you everything, uh, and the way they've been with me the last couple of days, obviously I'm, they think I'm one of the boys. And but the way they've treated me and the respect they've shown me has been brilliant. And also the other boys that came in as well. So it's it's. Uh, I think it could be a good point going forward. Tactical genius as well. Scott Tanzer comes on two minutes later, we're level. I know, I, I actually, it was strange. I was actually saying to Alan and Webby that I was thinking because I, I thought they were getting a lot of problems down the right hand side. Uh, our left, their right hand side, and I thought Nubley and Devlin were their main, and that's where their goal comes from. So I said to, to Alan, I'm going to take off Jordan and bring on Tanzer. So, uh, it worked worked well because I thought it would help us. I heard their fans giving us a little bit of a boo, and I'm taking off probably one of our, our better attacking players and bringing on a defender. But not worked, uh, and I, I'm I'm delighted that it worked. And it's good that we've sent the fans ho home happy. And as I say, it actually feels a bit like a win, especially against ten for ten men for so long. Just on that, have you had a chance to to see the red card back? And what were your thoughts? Yeah, we've watched it back with analysis. Obviously, uh, Alan showed us it, uh, and I think it's harsh. Uh, if I can, if it, but our angle's not great, so hopefully we can get more angles of it and, and see what it is. And if there's a chance that we can appeal it, then we will. But I think it's very harsh. Looking at Charles, his eyes are on the ball all the time, and it actually looks. And I know people always say this: you run it. It actually does look as though the boys run into Charles more than the other way about. Charles leading me his elbow. So, but we'll have a look at it, uh, and then it'll be up to the club what they decide if they're going to appeal it or not. Just in terms of yourself, how did you feel, boyhood uh, buddy? to get the chance to lead the team out today? It was it was a bit surreal, uh, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. And as I say, if it wasn't for the, 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 the players have made it seamless for me. Uh, I was nervous, but the players have been, as I say, absolutely brilliant. And um, I, I think if you're the person that's coming out in this job is, is one lucky person, because they're going to inherit a really, really good squad of not just players, but men and, and boys. And uh, as I say, they've been brilliant. And I'd like to thank them for that. Now, there is no let up though, because we're at Dundee on Wednesday. How do you go about preparing the team, given what sort of still remains? Uh, well, we do just we dust ourselves down tonight. Uh, we'll give the boys tomorrow off as, as normal, and then we'll come back in and um, we'll just take the team as, as normal. Obviously, there'll be some boys that will be feeling a little bit obviously on the surface, so we'll rest them up, and other boys will need to do a little bit extra. But no full focus. We'll then change to Dundee on Wednesday, which is, as you say, Jumbo. It's another massive, massive game. Uh, and we want to keep this winning run, uh, undefeated run going uh, and keep that, I would say, the position we are on the table and we want to just keep on building on it and it's, it's a big, big game on Wednesday night. Jamie, well done today, thanks very much for your time. Cheers Jimbo. Well done.